Well, imagine waiting for a package for Christmas that says it has been delivered, but it never was. Gosh, well, that is what some residents in the small Amador County town of Ione says has been happening for years, apparently, and not just around Christmas. Mm -hmm. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera explains. Amid the quaint holiday decor lining Main Street in Ione, its U.S. post office is enveloped in anger with some of its longtime customers. It's extremely frustrating. We count on it as a form of communication. Dub Cardenas has lived here 16 years. Using only a post office box, she says a passport she ordered never arrived. There are frequent deliveries with wrong addresses and packages that say they were delivered never were. We'll come down to the post office because our online tracking says that an item is delivered. However, when we get here, there's no, no slip in our P.O. box. There's no key to pick it up at a parcel locker. Deanne Dane has lived here over 30 years. She owns an online store that sells fishing lures and pet products. She says recently she sent out 23 deliveries across the country that showed they were delivered in Ione. I had lots of really irate customers that were contacting me. Where's my package? Why is it showing delivered? And Dane says the post office lobby hours are sporadic. I came in again on December 19th at 3 o'clock and they were closed again. One Ione resident who wouldn't go on camera told me postal workers sometimes work up to two weeks straight, 16 plus hour days. I have lots of empathy for our um, postal clerks, They're especially the carriers. They're working really hard. Jack Mitchell is publisher of the Ledger Dispatch newspaper that covers Ione and Ione's new vice mayor. He believes the postal problems are a combination of booming city growth, contracted mail delivery with Amazon and more. I'll see them out at midnight delivering uh, and doing the best they can, but no one's added in. And then there's questions of the service. Did they deliver the package? Was it stolen? Bottom line, everyone we spoke to agrees more workers are needed to help stamp out the consistent complaints. Wow, what a frustrating situation. We have reached out to the U.S. Postal Service for comment. We're told someone will respond. When they do, we will give you that update.